9 report a small town is doing big things for the environment. Forest Heights in Prince George's County is the latest community to get a sustainable Maryland certification that gives towns a roadmap for going green while also saving taxpayers money. Environmental impact reporter Scott Broom shows us how Forest Heights is doing just that. Forest Heights is the first suburb you hit when you cross the DC line on South Capitol Street. It has just 2700 residents and is fast becoming an oasis of green on a very tight small town budget. We have the new EV Hummer uh, bikes. Police Chief Anthony Reese runs patrols on e-bikes and has an electric police car. This is causing us nothing uh, as far as the police budget. And our electric vehicle fleet. Interim Town Manager John O'Connor ticks off a long list of environmental projects that just earned Forest Heights a sustainable Maryland designation from the University of Maryland and the Maryland Municipal League, which are helping local governments go green and save money. Town offices here run on solar energy. Rain barrels catch stormwater runoff. The parking lots here have pavers that soak up stormwater instead of dumping it in Oxen Run. There are seven electric town vehicles, six charging stations, a new park that has taken in some of the 1,500 trees the town has planted since 2020, and a community garden that feeds people and greens up what was idle property. This is just a new energy. Council President Jamila McDonald gets the credit from her colleagues with setting the sustainable Maryland goal for Forest Heights. I am a recycling queen, number one, and I've always been interested in looking at renewable energy. And it's Forest Heights, so it keeps it forested. Troy Barrington Lilly is Forest Heights mayor. He talked about the town's modest budget, 6.75 million, and why environmental projects make economic sense. The, it shows that we're forward thinking and building the resilience of the town, uh, but obviously pocketbook issues are really important to people. Work. So the electric vehicles themselves will save us about $75,000 a year. The uh, solar energy is going to bring us in about $6,000 a year. It's also saving us $3,000 a month on the electric bills. We celebrated 75 years of incorporation this year, but we're really starting to look at what are the next 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30 years of forest sites look like. And the biggest part of that is residents. And so everything that you've seen around town from the garden to the sustainability efforts that we've made is so that this place remains livable and that it thrives so the people that live here can have the best life possible. A lot of the environmental improvements here were paid for by $8.4 million in state and federal grants the town applied for in the last four years without town taxpayers throwing in any extra. Forest Heights is now among 50 other towns and among the smallest towns in Maryland that have achieved the sustainable Maryland status. In Forest Heights, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.